getting like a rash. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Oh my gosh. Boom. <laughs> Hello everyone, my room is a complete pigsty. I have a coffee. I'm really looking forward to drinking this and hopefully I don't spill it this time like in my other video. It's all over my leg. <laughs> Today I'm going to do a full face first impressions. Yay, I haven't done one in a few, I don't even know, <laughs> I haven't done one lately. Not a full face. So first of all, I am going to try this. You guys know my previous video was a PR unboxing, I'll link it below, and that's where I'm trying stuff from, from that unboxing, but I actually got this in a package like yesterday, the day before, and I unboxed it on my vlog channel, so I thought I'd try it because it's Huda Beauty's new skincare line. Apply a generous amount on clean dry skin, massage in a circular motion to roll and sweep away impurities, and then rinse well with warm water. Use one to two times a week. It's a enzyme scrub, and it's supposed to like really clear up, like, you know, any like congestion and stuff like that. Healthy glow, retexturizing, brightening, and even skin tone. And it's got pineapple enzymes, papaya enzymes, AHAs and BHAs, so let's give it a go. It's my skin right now, like, to be honest, it's my own fault, but I've forgotten to do my um, microdermabrasion for like the last week. And so, oh my god, oh, this is tight. This came with the package, so I thought I'd use it today. <laughs> my skin is a little bit more like just congested than normal, like there's some dead skin on there and everything. And I haven't done a scrub. So the packaging first of all is really cute. I like the pale yellow. And it's made in South Korea, which is cool because I love Korean beauty. You guys know me. I'm all about that life. I don't actually know if I've ever said this before, but some of you guys know I used to live in South Korea when I was about 10 years old for a year. And walking around all of the little drug stores and cosmetic stores, like it really got me interested in beauty. Obviously a lot of young girls are really intrigued with beauty because you know they see their mums using it and everything and I did. I definitely did. Like my mum definitely got me into it. But um so I'm just gonna scrub in circular motions. Yeah I just remember walking around all of those little cosmetic shops and the like Korean beauty shops and just being so like intrigued with all of the nail polishes and lipsticks and stuff. I really want to go back one day and like go shopping and you know, try out heaps of new products and just see how it has changed since I was 10 years old. Because I'm now 27. You know, it was a long time ago. <laughs> okay, so I just put on some lip balm. I'm just using the XO Beauty one. Banana Berry Smoothie. But my skin has nothing else on it. It definitely looks very glowy immediately. You can see that. It feels very, very like squeaky clean. Like I definitely feel like I want a moisturizer on right now, but it feels smooth. Like, so, so smooth. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's pop in some dry shampoo. I'm going to use the volumizing one. Vacay Arctic Fox. Good things come in small packages. This has 100-ish applications, which is crazy. So even if you use it daily, that's like three months, so. Um, do you just... Oh, shit, okay. It comes out, like, top speed. I'm not going to put in too much because I'm nervous that, um, you know, it'll just be too full on. Like, if it last for that long surely you don't need to use much i don't know oh it smells so good it kind of smells like cologne feels good it doesn't feel like sticky or anything like some of those volumizing um dry shampoos can all right so the all nighter face primer i love the all nighter range by urban decay like the setting sprays and stuff so this oh it kind of looks like a silicone kind of formula what is this preps smooths and perfects like a stage five clinger all nighter face primer grips and your foundation won't want to let go. Lightweight formula goes on sheer to protect your skin, perfect your skin, leaving it feeling smooth, hydrated, and lifted. Wow, that actually sounds amazing. So, okay, doesn't it feel like professional, like that texture, it feels moisturizing. So thank goodness, because that's my favorite type. I don't know how much I need, but I'll just put on a little bit more. Definitely dries down a lot. Like it goes on feeling quite thick, but then it like dries down to this like super thin texture, and it's like sticky. So I can see what they mean about it. like. You know, theoretically, it'll grip onto the foundation. All right, my skin's looking really nice. Definitely much better than it looked at the very start of the video, that's for sure. By the way, this cute little top is White Fox Boutique. What's new? I feel like I've got a mullet because, like, <laughs> the headband's like lifting my hair off my head. Like, what the fuck? More declutters are coming too. That's like the one I'm planning to film next, like the video I'm planning to film next after doing, um, you know, a little tidy up in here. Do you know what I want to use? This Bougie AF Christian Dior Forever Perfect Cushion Foundation. It's got SPF 35, so good for daytime. I'm just really keen to give it a go and see what it's like. I'm actually going to use it with a angled face brush. I'm just going to press into the product. Is this what I should be doing now? Like, I guess. Do you guys see this? I'm getting like a rash. <laughs> oh my goodness. It doesn't hurt or feel hot or like feel like anything, but it looks 
a bit uh, concerning. What's that from? Is that from the primer or from the scrub? I don't know. I'm just going to continue because it's not bothering me, but concerning. <laughs> Continuing. So this colour, by the way, it might be a little bit light, so we might have to do quite a bit of bronzer, but it's in 2N Neutral. I feel like I need something a little bit like more golden right now because I've got a lot of fake tan on. This is the new fake tan I got in my last unboxing as well. It smells like bougie, like your grandma's skincare or something. And I'm not going to use too, too much. I mean, it's actually like a decent coverage as well. Like that's still just that one like tap into the product. I'm just kind of like buffing it a little bit. It feels really lightweight. And like super moisturizing. It's quite a matte finish, I would say. Like, yeah, very matte. Okay, taking another tap on my forehead, just avoiding the eyebrows because we will fill those in a bit. I feel so fancy when I use products like this, like that packaging though. It's so dope. I'm just gonna put some of this over my eyelid. I'm kind of just doing like one side of my face right now because I want to see if this reaction gets worse. I don't think it's getting worse. At least you can see how well the foundation covers. There's a bonus. Gotta look at the bright side, I guess. I like this. I'm not a huge fan of the scent of it. It's quite like strong and like powdery, um, but the actual product itself is beautiful. Even though I'm not a huge fan of matte finishes, like it's kind of like velvet looking or something. It's not just like dry looking. I don't know how to describe it, honestly. It's too pale for my face. So I'm gonna go back to this foundation that I used in my Scott Barnes tutorial. This is not new to me, but I don't really have any like liquid bronzers or anything that I can use that's from my last video, I don't think. I do have blush though, which I'm excited about. So I'm just going to add some of this foundation. Like, you know, applying this straight after that other foundation, I still prefer this. Like, just the formula, the finish. This is, like, such a different product though. This is the Touche Clat Le Tint, and it's really, really beautiful. It's got sunscreen in it, I believe. It's, like, a decent coverage, slightly more dewy kind of finish. And the colour is just stunning. It's BD50. This used to always be too dark for me, but ever since doing, you know, Bondi Sands fake tan, it matches Bondi Sands quite well. So I'm just kind of like adding a little bit of this over my cheeks and stuff just to try and make sure that everything looks kind of matched to my <laughs> chest. Holy moly, my forehead looks so like perfectly smooth. I wish my whole face looked like that. Like it's like flawless, like it looks face tuned. Goodness. Um, the rest of my face, like, you can kind of see this reaction under my chin and over my- Yeah, look, I'm getting these little, like, bumps on my nose. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm just gonna keep going to see how this plays out. Okay, we're gonna, like, not focus too much on the skin right now. That's definitely not the foundation's fault, because as you guys saw, it started before that. It's either the primer or the scrub. Dunno. I've got enough stuff here for like a couple of first impressions because I've got this liquid blush and you guys know I'm loving liquid and cream blush right now. Or I've got the VT one and like the little love heart. And I don't know which one I should do. Maybe I'll do the love heart one but I really want to try these. I don't know. I'll try these in like one of my next tutorials. I don't even know what this colour is but it's by VT. It's the BTS range I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Stay it. It's like a blush. Don't know what the color is or anything. It's all in Korean. So at least we're trying a few Korean products today, hey? Oh wait. Oh, okay, good. It looks like it's a highlighter. I'm gonna like smother it all over <laughs> just because I want to see if I can actually get a little heart shape. Is that dumb? Probably. I'm gonna do a super glowy look. So I'm gonna do one heart here <laughs> and then another heart here. Maybe two or three hearts. Is this even highlighter or is this like a face primer. Like, I don't know. Okay, it's not in English. But I'm gonna like mix it into my cheek. Like, what is this? I don't know. <laughs> this is like the worst first impression ever. I'm like, I have a rash. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> like, well done, me. Let me do a little research and I'll come back to you in. <laughs> Honestly, why did I even think in my brain that this is blush? Like, I just assumed it was blush, and I don't even know why, but I'm pretty sure it's actually a primer glow base, which makes so much more sense. <laughs> so we put some primer on top of our foundation today. Hey, this can be the new thing, right? I'm making my own rules with makeup today. Pop on some concealer, shall we? I'm going to try out the Jouer High Coverage Concealer Pen. I have no idea if this is meant for under the eyes. I doubt it, to be honest, because... High coverage concealer pen, like that makes me think it would be for the face. This is in the shade Chiffon. No rules today, apparently. We are going to put this under the eye and maybe also just a little bit over the face too. So, going in here. 
Oh, it's lighter than I thought it would be. I don't know why. No, it does look quite light in the pen shan. You're just a dumbass. I'm going in this like kind of V shape. Like, I don't really know. Do I need it anywhere else? Like, probably not. I'm just using my brush, just tap, tap, tap. Warm it up and kind of melt it in. Yeah, that's quite heavy. Personally, too heavy for me under the eyes. And on the face, like, oh. I only used a little bit over this breakout and it didn't really cover it that well but this breakout is one of those ones that's just like an asshole. it will not settle down it won't let me cover it you know so I don't really blame the concealer for that but yeah I don't think you know if you're looking for an under eye concealer I don't think this will be it because it's red dick thick right red dick thick my complexion still looks really nice though like I really like all of the products I've used today like the combination that has given me this like glow the finish Everything looks really good. I mean, I use like a jillion different steps and messed up stuff, but it looks really good. So, you know what? We'll pretend like it was all planned. And try our sheer blush. This is in Cheeky Coral. I just am drawn to the shade. There's heaps though. I ended up with like five hair. I don't know if I'd really wear this really dark one, so I might put that in the giveaway too. But anyways, there's like nudes, pinks, corals, like a bright pink. This like nude looks really fun as well. Like I might even use a couple. So I'm gonna start with Fresh Face, which is this nude one, just cause it intrigues me. It's a color I don't normally go for. Let's put it on like the back of the cheek and just see what it looks like. So I'm just using, oh, that's so pretty. It's got like a pinky undertone. Just using my same brush I've been using this whole time, Angled Face Brush. When I'm using lots of creams, I just love to use the same brush so that they will kind of like melt and blend really seamlessly. Obviously wiping it off a little bit in between just on a clean towel that you can then just chuck in the wash. I prefer doing that than using like napkins or paper towels or anything just because it's better for the environment that way. It's just small things you know. Alright that's like so pretty that almost looks like I'm not wearing blush. Obviously it's at the very back of my cheek. You can kind of see it better on the side. It's very subtle and you could build it up. I really like that because liquid blush can be so intimidating but these are quite sheer so you could just build them up until you're ready to like call it quits. So I'm just going to start with this much because that's quite a bit. This is like neon. What the heck? I'm just going to Kind of swap in between both sides and just keep going and this will soak into your skin a little bit because it is a liquid so even if it looks a little bit crazy at first theoretically after a few minutes of just sitting on your skin it'll just kind of settle itself as well you could also use a sponge oh that's so pretty i'm here for this i'm here for creams and liquids again i'm so excited in fact i am going to try that darker color let's go back to like 2014 at youtube and start doing like summer makeup tutorials and winter makeup tutorials because how stunning with a really nice berry kind of cheek and because it's sheer it won't be too much and it'll give you hydration for winter when winter's quite like dry and shit and then like a really nice berry lip or something oh I'm so excited. I'm gonna try this. This is the powder that we unboxed from Urban Decay. Because you guys know I've been obsessed, obsessed with this. They sent another one as well. The Stay Naked Liquid Foundation. It's been pretty much my new holy grail. I've, I think I've been using it more than my NARS Natural Radiant. I think <laughs> my NARS. Um, it's like, oh no, it's smashed. It kind of took over. But then I kind of got into lighter coverages, like the ColourPop tinted moisturizers and things. Anyway, long story short, I'm very excited to try this. I don't think I've ever tried it. Stay Naked The Fix in 30WY. And I'm going to use it on like a smaller brush. This is a Tulip, a oh, Shimmer Tulip brush. Because my other brushes are like dirty and I haven't been powdering. But I'm just going to use some like through the T's. That was powdery through the t-zone and I'm gonna like blend it up just to kind of like I don't know shape my face a little bit because this is pale like the shades 30 are not that dark I need to invest in this foundation I'm gonna go on like Mecca or something and buy it but the I need like a deeper one for when I've got fake tan like this on so I can wear it when I've got a deep fake tan on because like right now like the color I bought or the color I got sent for my fake tan skin is like my normal skin color so I can only wear it when I'm like a little bit fairer. I'm just gonna pat this around. I'm not gonna set it much. I'm just gonna see how it goes. Like I'm literally just like dusting leftovers, but like kind of like under hair around my nose. I'm just putting a little bit more. I don't wanna like put too much powder under my eyes because that concealer is so heavy. So just kind of like all around the T-zone. The powder is like a good coverage and it feels good. It blends good. It doesn't look cakey. So I'll definitely use this again um, when I do like a proper full face of powder but right now this is too pale 
just doing a little bit under here to kind of like sculpt my face because I haven't contoured yet. Honestly, I talk too much. But how good does my skin look? It looks like full coverage. Um, the concealer looks nice like now that it's kind of sunk into my skin a little bit. I guess like, you know, it's warmed up a little bit, melted in. Still not my favorite for sure. Not my favorite fan of the eyes, but maybe on the face. Like, oh, I feel like I do need to just set it a little bit more at the risk of being cakey because it's almost like shiny and I'm like nervous it's going to melt everywhere. I'll just add a little bit more just for some security. At least cakey is better than like oil slick. Is it? That's probably a lie. I don't know. You can kind of see through here. I'm a little bit cakey where that concealer is. So yeah, probably not my favorite. It is probably just too heavy for what I need and it's just giving me unnecessary cakiness. But I mean, under the eyes, it doesn't look terrible. My forehead looks photoshopped. Look at this. If I go like that, you can see the texture. But when I'm just relaxed, like Holy moly, it looks so perfect. So this is the Hot Damn Noiselle Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Hot Damn Noiselle D'Avignon. I don't know. <laughs> Makes no sense to me. I'm going to use that same little shimmer Trilla brush. This is quite like a dark highlighter for my skin tone, but I'm excited to see what it looks like. It's like pink and gold. So I'm just going to like kind of put that almost over where I put blush and on my cheekbone. Like that Scott Barnes kind of technique once again where I'm putting it on like all over that cheek just to hit the light so there's not just like a stripe or anything but it's like a color deposit looks really natural it's actually stunning it's kind of like a sunburned color <laughs> like in a nice way oh my god my hair look at it it's out of control and then i'm going to take the postmodernist peach one which is more of like for my skin tone like a highlighter right and i'm going to take it on i don't have any clean brushes right here this is shocking i'm just gonna use the same brush then i'm just gonna use the very tip of this brush oh yeah that is absolutely beautiful. This is like the perfect kind of peachy light color, like peachy gold. It's not like yellow gold. It's like peach undertone, sandy nude beautifulness. I may be lying, but I don't think I have a new setting spray. I don't need a new setting spray anyway. I've got so many on the go. So I'm just gonna use my Pretty Fresh, my favorite one. Use Shen 10 for a discount. I feel like James Charles every time I do that. Like, code Shen 10. Oh, I love my skin today. I'm all about skin focus lately. Like skin, brows, yes. Blush, highlight, bronzer. Oh, I forgot bronzer. I feel like I don't even really need it, but we'll see if I've got a new one to try. I don't have a new bronzer, I don't think. At least not one I've kept. I may have put one in the giveaway pile. So I'm gonna use this Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil. And I'm gonna use it with a fan brush just so I can really like kind of flick it around the edges of my forehead. It looks so dark, right? But when you just use it like this with a light hand, like holy moly, and this has like a shimmer in it too. Like I'm going full on today, right? Like all out, kind of over that cheek. Oh my God, I can taste it. It tastes so good. <laughs> like you probably shouldn't like eat it, but it literally tastes like chocolate. Is this keto? I don't know. I'm putting it not where I contour, but just above where I contour on the actual cheek just to give it a little bit of sculpting as well. And I'm going to use it down my nose. And then going in with my little shimmer tulip brush, I'm just going to blend this with the highlighter. Okay, this is falling out, so that's enough of him. This is so cool. So for brows, we have this VT BTS Day It. This is a brow duo, and my one, it says on the box here, is in natural brown. It's a little bit darker than the other shade they sent me, but the other shade they sent me, the mascara was a little bit lighter than I would like. So on one side you have your brown mascara, like, sorry, but what? And then on the other side you have your triangular shaped eyebrow pencil. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever, okay. So I'm just going to start with the pencil. Oh my God, it actually feels like a nice formula too. It's like very balmy, which I like for stuff like this, because you don't get that harsh effect. Like it's quite forgiving, good for beginners, or if you're an expert, like it's just very, very, very user friendly. You just go over it a couple times to get a more intense look. Like just go over once for a more natural look. Oh my God, there's a freaky fly in my room. This is what I get for opening up the ranch slider. Do you guys call them ranch sliders in other countries or not? I'm gonna need to know that information. I'm always so like curious to see what people call things around the world. And why is it called a ranch slider? Ranches aren't even like things in New Zealand, I swear. I'm just gonna tidy up that very top part of my eyebrow. So I'll just take the concealer. My God, <clears throat> this fly, go away. I have to admit though, he's quite handsome. He's like a bottle green color. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, 
I'm just gonna spread this out with this little angled brush I have here. Who is this by Sephora? There we go. Just to tidy them up a bit. Oh, that looks good, guys. Okay, and then to finish the full effect, we'll use the little mascara it comes with. Like, how good would this be for traveling? I'm shook. Okay. And it's actually really nice. It's a little bit lighter than I would normally go for, but the undertone's really good with my hair color, I think. What do you guys think? Obviously, my eyebrows don't look shit right now naturally because I've just had them tinted and waxed and everything. So, like, I don't need a lot of product and it's not like a dramatic before and after. This stuff is flaking. I might keep this and actually keep it just full time in my makeup bag that I travel with. Because this would just be like the perfect go-to, just easy to grab. It's got everything in it, you know, for traveling. So I think that's what that'll be. Really cool. My eyebrows look nice. So, oh, I've got one speck of mascara here. Next up, let's do something on the eyes. I keep thinking we're almost done, but I just realized we haven't even started doing any eyeshadow whatsoever. I think I'll just do something quite chill because look at my top. It's intense and this video is already 12 years long. As always, what's new? I am going to start off by using this sparkling liquid <laughs> um, by The Balm. This is in the shade Irish Coffee and it smells strange. But oh, that color! Oh my gosh. And then I'm going to just take this brush that I've been using lately. It's dirty, so I'm just going to wipe it off on my track pants. Um, there we go. This is the round eye brush. I'm going to just spread it out. And in the crease a little bit. Even though it's got glitters, like, let's just go for it. Oh, I really like that. How easy. Go away, fly. I don't want to hear any of your bullshit. You guys are getting some of these in at the giveaway as well, because I only kept a couple of them. So if you're one of the lucky winners, then make sure to keep an eye out for this. I mean, I'm going to have like six different winners, but still, someone's got to get it right. That's what I always say, you know, people are like, I'll never win. I'm like, someone has to. And I am going to add a little bit of powder eyeshadow as well, because I've got so many beautiful eyeshadow palettes lately. I'm like, I need to use them. But like, how good is this just as like its own look by itself? I thought my camera stopped filming for a second there if you saw the look of dread on my face I was like oh frick like that's just so pretty so I recommend that straight off the bat I'm gonna let it dry and just see if it like transfers while we wait I'm just gonna show you the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna try today the Le Vie de Prince I hope I pronounced that correctly it's got butterflies on it so stunning and then on the inside there are like some bright colors and some neutrals so I thought this would be perfect I don't know what kind of bright color to do maybe we'll do purple on the lower lash line or something to match my top that could be cute yeah this dries down and it doesn't transfer well not much anyway there's like a couple of glitters that came off but it sets pretty well I'm gonna take on my finger this color here called Brillo it's like a shimmery goldeny kind of color I'm gonna put that right on the middle of my eyelid that's stunning oh my gosh it's so pigmented too you guys like real impressed. This is BH Cosmetics. I love BH Cosmetics eyeshadows. They're some of the best. Duh, I did my own collab with them a while ago, as you guys know. That collab was iconic, just saying as well. I'm like so impressed. Like everything that's happening. We started off so weak. And by the way, the reaction seems to have gone down a little bit. Maybe I was just a bit too vigorous. Maybe I shouldn't have used the scrub straight before makeup or something like that. Maybe I should have had a break or used it on a non-makeup day or use it at night time or something, I don't know. But yeah, I feel like it was a bit too much. Next up, I'm going to take a blender brush like this. I'm just going to take a little bit of this kind of like pinkish neutral. It's called Migrate. And I'm just going to add that to the edges, like into the crease almost, just to warm up that eyelid. This is so pretty. And I'm taking a little bit of Cocoa, which is a more like neutral, and kind of just popping that over top and maybe a little bit on the outer corner. I'm going to take it underneath and then I'm going to pack a bright one on top. This palette's so pretty. Just before I continue with, you know, the rest of the eye makeup, I'm just going to chuck on it. This Matte Plumping Primer by Project Lip. It says it'll tingle because it plumpens your lips. So let's see. This is my before. If you want to take a screenshot or something. So I put like a thin layer all over. Oh yeah, I can feel that tingling already. <laughs> Feels like I just ate spicy food, which I've been eating non-stop lately actually. And by the way, oh, I've got this off center again. What's wrong with me doing that? I cannot put jalapenos down. I'm putting them on everything lately. Anyway, that's beside the point. Taking a short shadow brush, I'm gonna take Sueno. I don't know how to say that. Look at it. Like the frick. 
putting that quite close to the lash line. That's so intense. In a good way. And then I'm going to take 1992, which is like a mauve kind of neutral. It's this one it just here. This palette is stunning, by the way. Genuinely stunning. I'm going to smudge it down with this color a little. Okay, and then, okay, this is turning full glam. Quick smart. I was like, I'll just do something simple. Boom. <laughs> this is the new Huda Beauty Matte Metal Shade in Cinnamon Toast. And I'm going to do a liner. I'm just going to use this stick first of all across my outer corner. And then I'm going to switch to a little winged liner brush just for some more control. And then I'm going to wing it out. And this is such a stunning color. Like, it's not too intense, so I can get away with doing quite a dramatic wing out here. I'm going to use my fingernail just to, like... Sharpen it up a little bit. Oh yeah. That's intense, but I live for it. Okay. I'm gonna do the exact same on the other side. I live for this colour. It's like the perfect terracotta brown. And it's so easy to apply with a little eyeliner brush like this too. And I'm meeting that all the way to the inner corner. This also comes with the other side, which is like a shimmer. I don't really know if I want to like utilize this or not. But if I just put a little tiny bit just right on that inner corner, like underneath though underneath the inner corner. That looks quite cool. I'm having so much fun experimenting with all these different like types of products rather than just doing like your classic powder everything like liquids and creams. It's so much fun. I need to do it more. I used to do stuff like this. But I don't know. Like I guess like powders and stuff just got so common that I just forgot to like use other stuff. Like everything that was being hyped was powder for like years and now we're all turning back into the creams which is cool alright so next up uh, mascara I'm going to use a Revitalash one you can buy Revitalash on exobeautyshop.com so I'm going to start with the primer which is blue and if you don't know why a lot of you know primers for mascara are blue I believe it's because it makes the mascara look darker blue pigment like I don't know it must just like make everything look darker if you layer it. The blue mascara is also a low-key vibe. I'm not going to do too much. I'm wearing falsies anyway, but it's on. So now let's see how the mascara goes on top. The packaging so luxurious. It's a volumizing mascara. I like the wand. Oh, that's so nice. I've used Revital Lash, Lash Growth Serum for years. It's the only one I use. I love it, love, love it. It works. I've just started being religious with it again because I was terrible and kind of just forgot about it for a few months. So I've just started like being real religious with it every single day again and I can't wait for my lashes to get even more amazing. Like it's already starting to work. Look how thick my lashes look. Like it looks so good. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to whip this on and I'll be right back. I really like that and now I don't know if I want falsies on. Like I'm thinking maybe. But let's just do our lips and then we can decide. The only problem is I've got some like patches on top where I've got that Huda Beauty liquid and it's kind of like made it so that the mascara won't coat it. Like it's quite crusty. So maybe I'll need some falsies just to cover that up. Can you see what I mean? But my lips just look like huge from above. Ooh, this is like still stinging. I'm just gonna like wipe it off with my fingers. And I'll just use this House Labs lip liner. I don't think I have any new lip liners. Ooh, that's spicy on my lips. This is in the shade Ride. That looks so pretty. Alright, and now on top, maybe this mauve kind of colour. This is the Heart Melter Gloss Stick in So Fine by Kaja. Alright, the colour looks like this. Oh yeah. See, it's like super glossy. I saw Chloe talking about these, so I was quite excited to try it. It's nice. I think it looks quite nice too with that lower lash line we've done. So that's that look. All right, so I've picked out these lashes, I've decided. These are the Elegant Full False Eyelashes by Makeup Geek. It's gonna be my first time trying these out. It says they're a half short and half long lash. I don't know what that means, but they're like crisscrossed and voluminous. Okay, so here's how they look. So I've already squirted out some lash glue. Are these gonna be too intense? Surely not. I feel like they're quite cool. Just gonna pop them down and leave them there to start sticking and then we'll um fiddle around with them a little bit more once they've stuck and it's got lash glue all over my face and i'm just gonna use my exo beauty lash applicator tweezer to kind of get them into position now that oh god this glue's sticking to everything because it's just gone everywhere i might have to leave it for like ages it's been that long since i've used this glue i've like forgotten how like <laughs> messy it gets. Oh my god, I'm not used to it. Now I'm just squeezing. 
making sure they're stuck down correctly. The sides being troublesome. Okay, I'm just gonna put in some hair extensions while this does its thing. I'll show you a before and after. So this is obviously my before. And here's how my hair looks from behind. And here's the after. I haven't really styled it, I just kind of left it and brushed it. So this is my sitting pretty halo hair extension. I'll link a video where I put it in and show you guys it in depth down below if you want to see it some more. But I just wanted to, you know, finish this video because otherwise it's going to be too long. Final step is just to squeeze these lashes and make sure that they are seamless with my natural ones. And I'll actually show you one side pinched. Whoops. I just knocked over my freaking coffee again. If you don't know what I mean when I say like squeeze them together, like have a look at this lash and how it's like sitting up. If I look up, I don't know if you'll be able to see it's like got a gap. Whereas this side is squashed and it's not looking perfect yet because the glue's still drying. But this one looks like way closer to my lash line. Side on, it's like more, like it just looks not natural because they look big, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing like false lashes as obviously because they're just so seamless with my own lashes. Whereas this side, there's like a big gap and they're sitting funny on the top. So just using a tweezer like this one, you don't want to use a normal tweezer because you can stab yourself, but just pinching them in makes them way more comfortable as well. And then sometimes I'll just go on with my finger afterwards just to make sure that it's all in place. So that makeup went from zero to a hundred. I don't know how I feel about the, um, lip color anymore but whatever i definitely feel like i've got a bit of volume too from the dry shampoo so yeah that is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed watching it almost had a few fails but we kind of brought it together the eye makeup's definitely very different to how i normally wear it like the style what do you guys think do you like it or do you absolutely hate it comment down below don't forget to follow me on instagram as well i've been posting crap loads of things on my stories and feed and also don't forget to subscribe to me here on youtube as well if you want to see some more of my videos and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye